Greetings and hallucinations, ladies and lads. I am Chancellor of the Harmonious Frequencies of the Mighty Empire of Onion, and this is Islands. Well, as you can see, those blocks are still there. They're still not there, according to the editor. Ugh. And I was never able to figure out how to fix them. I I looked online for some suggestions and uh, never found anything. I tried to get on the island's website so that I could go to the forums and just kept getting hit with errors. The page failed to load, all this kind of stuff. That could be a problem uh, with my internet, but I was, I was able to access YouTube. I was able to access Facebook and Discord and all that kind of stuff. Uh, Islands was the only website that I wasn't able to bring up and so I don't know if it's something to do with their site development or something like that um, but yeah so I couldn't ask for any advice on how to get rid of them uh, I couldn't figure out how to roll back the save on my uh, world here and I tried the editor again and was unsuccessful in removing those blocks so um, yeah they're there to stay I don't know uh, that I'm interested in continuing the series any longer. Um, it's not it's not just because of that. Um, it's that we're pretty much to the end of the game anyway. So I would... There are a bunch of other games that I would really like to play and get into. And so this is probably going to be um, the end of this series, basically. I don't want to leave it off on last episode. The way that it ended, I was not pleased with it. And so... Um, I wanted to be sure to bring you all back for one more. And I think what we're going to try to do is build a car. I want to build the very steampunky looking one, not the very fancy looking one. Um, so, yeah, it looks like a steam engine sort of a car. Uh, I kind of want to go for the large. I still kind of want to use the Islandium engine, though. Steam, steam, Islandium. How much? 30 dust. Let's see, we've got steel plates, steel rods, gearboxes, tires, 20, 30, 4 rubbers. Uh, okay, it doesn't say that it requires any kind of... Um, workstation 15 so we're gonna need hundreds of these steel plates tons and tons of those steel plates which means that we need oh man I always for I always forget that um, but yeah if we need steel plates that means we need charcoal right regular coal I mean I've looked around, I still don't see a, uh, a take-all button. I think that would be pretty handy, personally. Uh, yeah. That'll be fine. Okay. Well, here is the Heliconia. I imagine that some of y'all remembered it, uh, but I did not. It is an attractive plant, that's for sure. So to uh, reduce the time necessary to get all of this accomplished, I've been floating back and forth uh, between here and the ship. And so I have a bunch of the components crafted up over there on the ship. 
I feel like I'm probably going to need some more steel rods. I could be wrong. I haven't uh, accurately calculated all the exact numbers um, of items that I need to build this thing. But that's okay. I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, and I'll probably start building it here, because that seems like a pretty flat place. I may build it up here with the uh, grass and stuff, but it all depends on the size of the large chassis. I think I am going to go with the large one. I don't know if I'll be able to fill it up, um, but we'll see. And I may I may go ahead with the steam engine, since um, it suits the look of the vehicle. Or I may go for both. I may do a steam and an islandium, uh, just to see if it works out. That's twice. Oh, he's hiding in the water there. I don't know if you can see him. There we go. Done. Oops, wrong way. Okay, so we do have a lot of uh, stuff around here. Mostly plates, uh, rods. We've got a couple of light bulbs here. Uh, over here in the energy workbench, I had to make these energy coils. I'm surprised I have the inventory space. I didn't know these only stacked to 50. Um, I used the locksmith table, right, to build gearboxes. So let's get those. Uh, you can see here they also require plates and rods and cogs. Uh, so I went ahead and built those. Okay, so I think we're almost there. Uh, as far as the car body goes, we're pretty much there. Um, when it comes to the engines, I didn't even I didn't even start to look, so I will have to uh, make the stuff for those separately. It does cut down on the wait time to fly back and forth. I thought about using a craftsman potion and just sitting in that one room uh, until I realized that I needed the light bulbs and the uh, gearboxes and all that, the energy coils and all that, so I knew then uh, that I had to leave the cave. Yeah, actually, this isn't a bad spot, to be honest. Let's see if it works out for us. I said that we've done all that we can do in this game. It's not true. There's a ton more uh, to be done in this game. So uh, if you want to check it all out, be sure to check out the game. Grab it for yourself. Don't let my inconveniences... Uh, dissuade you from your decision. So we need to make some tires. Oh, come on. I clicked on the dang tire. Look, tire right here. Rubber slabs. We don't need to... to do. And why isn't the tire in with the vehicles, I wonder? All items will just search for tire. Yeah, not enough inventory space now. Uh, why aren't these stacked? I wonder. Okay, so there's four tires. I don't know why I have this car body part now. Uh, that's really frustrating. So let us then, oh, I think there's five tires here now, it's hilarious, I'm just surrounded by trash. Let us then drop these two gearboxes for now. Uh, can I switch? Oh, they take up individual spaces? That's so inconvenient, holy cow. I guess it's pretty accurate though. Let's drop these. Uh, tires are not small things. These are kind of scrawny, but tires are not little. Okay, large chassis. Right, we have a little bit extra, not much extra, but a little bit. Uh, as far as steel rods, I was right that I will need more. Whoa, okay. This way. Ta-da! Man, I like it a lot. It sits pretty high off the ground, but uh, I still like it a lot. 
Okay, so this is a trunk, or if you're British, the boot. Um, yeah, the front mask here is really what I want. Yeah. Yeah, let's take a look at the front mask. It's not it's not nearly as big as the vehicle itself. I kind of want to put it way out here. I was expecting it to be the same width as the as the vehicle. Okay. I think that's sitting on it. It appeared to be. Uh so now we could do one of the body parts. Let's see what is what are we missing from this? Steel tube, two regulators, and five converters. Okay, I'm gonna go get those together and we'll put the steam engine on. We could also do with a glass sphere. Oh, how many plates is that? Yeah, we have enough for one of each. Okay, we're back at it again. Got the stuff that I needed to do the thing. Uh, we should start with the steam engine. Sure. I mean, it can't matter which direction it goes, right? Yeah. Something tells me that this is the exhaust right here. And so I kind of want that to be at the front, if possible. So we should still have what we need to make the small Islandium engine. Beautiful. Okay, and yes, this is where I would like for it to be. Nice. So it does have the button on there, but really I just want the gauge to be facing me is the main thing. So we can go with the car driver seat. Uh, this is European style, so we're going to put the driver's seat on the right side. Okay, maybe I'm mistaken. Oh, I may be mistaken. Okay, we were able to get it back, so that's nice. Okay, it's not, uh, it's not European. How can I tell, you ask? Well... It fits better together like this. Uh, I'm tempted to put it on the outside instead of on the inside. Because I feel like it makes more sense. Now let's have the passenger facing backwards, if at all possible. Okay, there needs to be something in the middle, but I don't think that it is a... Uh, I don't think it's a seat. I kind of wish they had a center seat or a center console type of thing. I mean, that seat might work in the center there, since it doesn't have sides on it uh, either side. Okay, I'm going to look into getting the stuff for that. Uh, I may have the stuff ready for this already, just about, and that will go on the very back. Okay, so I think I am going to make this seat then, and then uh, we'll try to put that in the middle, and then try to put the trunk on the very back. It's probably going to look really funny, uh, because it's probably going to not extend out to both sides. So we'll see. Apparently these are all extras. I really thought that uh, I was going to need them. But that's fine. Let's see if I have what I need. Okay, so I actually had uh, what I need to make that center seat right here in these chests. Uh, so that's pretty convenient. Let's give it a look. I actually really like that a lot. So it's a three-seater, basically. There we are, sitting in the middle. I like it. Uh, so this is a truck style, a larger 
uh, type of chassis. There is a small car chassis that uh, is much smaller than this. It only is as wide as the engine and uh, from what I've seen in other people's videos, it's only got enough space for uh, the engine in the front, the two seats, and then the trunk piece in the back. Um, the very front piece, I believe, as well. So, like, the front piece has to be sitting on the outside, though, kind of like it is on this. Uh, so you're better off just putting the engine at the very front of the chassis and then putting the, the end cap on the front there. Uh, let's see... Oh, it looks so trashy around here now. I don't even care at this point, though. <laughs> like I said, this is the last episode, so we're going to be done. Um, let's see. I'll bet these are cooked up. They are. Let's leave that one in there, because we don't need it. This is going to look really silly, but I kind of want to see um, how it do. Alright, we've got the uh, lights and everything. Okay, we can't set this one back like we did the front. You're okay. You're okay. Just breathe. There we go. Perfect. Car trunk open. Ta-da! 12 spaces uh, for storage. Very nice. I like how it closes like that, too. So with the larger chassis like this, you could... Uh, basically build four of, of these trunks. Well, technically you could build six and fit them all inside this chassis. Um, you could even have it sticking over the side. And so I guess you could really build like, what would that be, eight? Eight or twelve? Uh, like eight or ten? Four or five going down each side, I would say. So that would be pretty good. Um, okay, so the Islandium engine isn't fueled yet. The steam engine isn't fueled either. Right, so if I switch the fuel, um, or the steam engine, it doesn't do anything. Same with the Islandium. You can see this green, this bar is supposed to be green when it's fully charged. Uh, same for this bar here. And so we are in need of going over here to get that large... Um, that large oops, I double tapped Islandium power cell, that's what I was trying to look for think of, say no I wanted you to equip the coal, as a matter of fact here we go, now we can fuel it okay, so each little bit that I put in there you can see changes the level of the power and that's all I can do what was that, 8? I think 8 motions um, but anyways, if we take this Islandium power pack now, we can charge. Could chunk. Okay. Um, so now car driver seat. Control. Uh, release controls is right click. Handbrake is space. Engine on is also right click. So I assume engine on is to hold right click. There we go. So we've got both engines running right now. The steam and the Islandium. Woohoo! Oh, listen to those sound effects. Whoa. This thing has some power, though. Look at us back up that hill. Oh, man. Are you kidding me? And now we're going to get uh, nose pasted right into this hill. Okay, that's fine, though. Uh, do they switch off automatically? It looks like they did. Um... Let's get the drill out and fix this problem. Or no, actually, the, the shovel will probably do. Wow. Is that really level with where I'm standing? That doesn't seem right. I could be wrong, though. Oh, it's hitting the vehicle itself. Come on now. Why can't it uh why can't it get that one?
Okay, now what do we look like? Pretty terrible, I'd say. Looks pretty rough, I'd say. Let's get in here. Okay. Whoa. We're moving a little bit, though. Let's see. Can we get past this tree? There we go. We wrecked that tree by running into it. We don't quite have the power to get up this little hill. Oh, if we shimmy it? Nope, not really. Okay, can we wreck this banana tree? Nope, not really. Yeah, there's there's too many trees over here. Oh, maybe the trunk is sticking out too far as well. Uh, that could be a thing. Uh, maybe we could just flatten a bunch of this out. About down there. Can we bring that up to our level? Not really. That might have been a bad move, actually. Okay. That might have also been a bad move. Who knows? Huh. Maybe. I don't know about that because, uh, that looks pretty steep. Can I bring this up? Whoa. There we go. Oh. Nope. I centered. Okay. Wrecking trees. There we go. Stuck on something. There we go. Ah, getting it turned around. Come on now. Almost there. Let's try to go up the hill a little ways. Oh, I was sure I was going to wreck that uh, banana tree. And these sounds are just ripping at my ears. There we go. Now we've gotten it going though. Got a little bit of speed. Oh, can we make it back up to the spot? We can. We can. Here we are. Beautiful. All right. Handbrake. Okay. Oh, man. Is there a better place to go around? Because there might be a better place to explore uh, with it. I wish I could just pick it up and then take it over here. Uh, I could drill through the mountain. I don't really want to do that, though. But if we're about to leave the island, it shouldn't matter. I mean, these rocks are probably going to cause problems, right? Okay, what are we looking at here? There we go. Now it's digging. Okay, now I don't know if these cause, uh, cause problems. Can I get past these rocks? No. There is collision uh, with the vehicles and the, uh, the rocks. So that's a bit of a shame. Uh, the rocks on top as well. I didn't really notice. There we go. Okay, nice and cleared out. Oh, that's a big hole. Uh, can we get some of these out of the way? Um, are these? Is it stuck on these right here? Yeah, it was. Anything over here? Nope.
Okay, can anyone explain why I can't drive? Here we go. Ah, oh, yeah. Nice wide open area here. It's still kind of rocky. Oops. Can we back it up? Nope. We're stuck on the silly hill again. Uh, so you can see uh, how this could be really annoying. Um, if you don't have the area perfectly level, or with very gradual slopes, lots of trouble uh, with this sort of thing. Come on, just level it down to where I'm standing, please. Just level it down, straight down to where I'm standing. Must have been, uh, whoops, come on now, there we go. Okay, so it's not terrible, it's not terrible. It's actually, uh, really fun. Um, and once you have a flat track, there's racetracks and stuff online that you can check out, uh, that people have made spent lots of time on, uh, really developed well, and that kind of stuff. So be sure to check those out if you really want to uh, see how fun driving can be in this game. They have all the different kinds of vehicles available and all that kind of stuff, so. Oh, come on. Oh, I know I want to get that sweet jump so I can get down to the beach. It's not going to happen, though. No. Oh, well. I've fallen through the world, but thankfully I have a propeller pack. Get back out of the world. That was close. Let's go for this again. What's holding it up? Aha! Now what are we looking like? It's probably going to get stuck on this. There we go. Let's see what we're looking at. Nothing still. Okay, here we go. Ah, ta -da! There we go. Oh, and now we're stuck on the trees. <laughs> Oh, good grief. Okay. I think that about does it for me, though. Um, oh, if we get it off this tree, are we going to have a bad time trying to get out of this hole next? And it's nighttime. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get it up out of this hole without a bunch of digging and stuff. Oh, man. Is it worth it? There he is. Oh, is it this other tree? Is it the rest of this tree that's uh, messing it up too? Okay, I'm not sure how it moved right there. I feel like this, uh, the wood on the front here is probably making a problem right now. Yeah. Yeah, the stuff that's stuck on it is making a problem.
Okay, here we go. And maybe I should have set the engine back a little ways. So that I could uh, drive forward and get over hills and stuff. I don't know how it feels about this. Alright, surely you can handle this, right car? Okay. Now we got it. Let's think about where we're going next, though. Cool. Oh, now what am I stuck on? Ridiculous. Okay, yeah. So you pretty much need a flat land um, to drive around. Oh, look at all those trapped panthers. Look at all those not trapped panthers. Holy cow, there's so many panthers here. It's not even right. Uh, if I had taken the time to build a road system and all that, it probably would have been a much more apt um, demonstration uh, instead of having to tear up the mountains and stuff like that, but that is a vehicle. Um, it's a little sloppy, but yeah, I just wanted to finish off the episode, uh, finish off the series, and show y'all um, what vehicles are kind of like. Um, sadly, uh, it did not turn out very well. Uh, but now you know, uh, don't use a large chassis vehicle unless you have uh, flatlands, um, either some kind of beach or plains or roads already built, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, this is going to be the end of Islands, um, at least until another huge update happens. I love this game, it's a lot of fun. Um, the openness of the world and ability to do pretty much whatever you want. Uh, is one of the things that I really love about games like this. All kinds of survival um, games. So yeah, if you like this kind of game, I hope you did enjoy this series. And if you want to catch some other series or uh, Islands whenever it returns, be sure to subscribe. Uh, consider supporting my channel through the Patreon link down in the video description. And feel free to check out any of my other videos or playlists that you might be interested in. I thank you so much for all the time you spend on my channel. And I hope blessings of wisdom and peace on all of you. Farewell.